like that. You got to think, uh, you know, business like a sports team. The moment you bring a Lionel Messi, it's a game changer. You bring an Alex Ferguson, game changer. Who is part of the team is uh, a fundamental determinant of success. In fact, McKinsey uh, shared this statistic, uh, which is uh, if you're going for an IPO, investors believe 90% of your performance is going to come from your management team. Uh, VCs believe the number one non-financial metric right is uh, or the team that you have in so even the statistics bear this out so what that means is if you have limited funds invest them in hiring great people rather than hiring them regretting sending them to leadership programs and all kinds of stuff which is not going to work i think this is the most practical thing to do what wouldn't be practical would be to hire average people and then keep them in the system which would ultimately impact your productivity then invest in trying to make them better but how do you do as you said you don't have an evp everybody can have an evp right evp is basically a statement of what your employees stand to gain if they come and work for you and that comes from the employees themselves who work for you right understanding what keeps them here but assuming that you have identified your high performers well go and ask them what do they love about the place that they work and what do they wish they had and once you have identified what your evp is you are essentially also zeroing in on your talent market not everybody will be talent for you right it's segmentation targeting and positioning and evp is a positioning tool for you and these are all tactics but at a very strategic level i think uh, i fully agree that hiring good talent i think the most effective lever to building high performing teams and work culture because it is infectious <laughs>